Hello Futurasis and Pre-Med Explorers, this is Milena Garcia, your host for Ross University Checking the Post, a pre-med podcast. This is our mini podcast featuring facts and information about our medical program, insights from current students, and tips from practicing physicians. Each week, this podcast will be broken down in small episodes, focusing on one aspect of our program, also having guests talk about their own experiences as students and as doctors. As a Ross Med student, you will spend one-third of your time in Barbados. Most students live in a student community known as the Villages of Coverley. Alternatively, our students can choose to live off campus as well. My guest today is Leah Gibson, the Housing and Property Manager. She talks about the different options of housing, what's included, what to bring, and how to get around. For the complete list and prices, please see our website. Welcome back, Future Aussies. Thanks for joining us again. In this episode, we're going to learn a little bit more about housing. With me here today is Leah Gibson. Leah, let's take a moment to have you introduce yourself. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm so excited. Um, so my name is Leah Gibson. I am the Housing and Property Manager here with RUSM. Leah, tell me about online on island student housing. On island student housing is located in the beautiful villages of Kofri. We are five minutes away from the airport. Um, most of the villages are named after tropical fruits. So when you get your housing assignment, you would hear names such as guava, coconut, pomegranate, and cherry. And those are just the villages. We have just over 1,300 spaces, so we can house just over 1,300 students. And we're so excited to welcome you. And you mentioned it's five minutes from the airport. How far is it from the campus? So we are about 15, 20 minutes away from campus and the shuttle will take you there from Coverley to, to our campus. Tell us about the housing setup. Our housing setup, we have three bedroom houses and four bedroom houses. In our three bedroom homes, we have one room with a private bath and then one shared bath for two other students. And in our four bedroom homes, we have two private baths and one bathroom shared by two students. Sounds like the students have options. How do yes. you choose? So when you receive your email from your new student coordinator stating that the housing portal has opened, you log on to the housing portal, you complete your housing application as honest and as accurately as possible. Once you complete that application, we make sure that you have a good match with another student. For example, if you study late at night or if you prefer to study in the morning, that is considered when we, when we assign students. And can the students choose their roommates? So at the moment, students do have the option of submitting that request to our office. I would like to say that it's not a request that is guaranteed, but we definitely will uh, consider your, your request. So I know we frequently get asked this question about housing. The students are worried, they're concerned, they want to know where am I going to live. Uh, so how soon does the, the process start? I know that once the students are accepted, we have the new students coordinator reach out to help with the transition to the island as far as the immigration, the paperwork, the, the setting up the flights and all that. But when does the housing process start? So that starts maybe just about three weeks before you arrive on island. You'll receive an email from your new student coordinator letting you know the portal has opened. It is time to complete that application. Once that application is completed, um, you will receive an email from our office uh, with your housing assignment one week prior to student arrival. And what are the types of, of uh, the housing that are available to the students? That's a great question. So for individual students, we have individual spaces for you. So that could be a private bath or a shared bathroom. And for our students traveling with a non-student companion, they will stay within companion housing. And this, again, needs to be outlined on your housing application. If you choose companion housing, you'll live in a house with one other student and their non-student companion. And then we also have family housing for students who are traveling to the island with two or more non-student companions. And are the students required to live at Coverley? Of course not. So students are not required to live, um, live in Coverley. Students have the options of living off campus and you can reach out to your new student coordinator for that link to, that will give you access to our off-campus housing options. Okay, so it sounds like our group of uh, administrators help with the on uh, on island of Ross Coverley housing as well as the off campus housing Correct. as well. Correct. Okay. 
And what do the students have to bring? What's already a part of, do they have to bring their own furniture? Or how does it work? <laughs> So in your home away from home, you will have um, a desk, a study chair, you'll have a full size bed, which is a question that students normally ask us. You will also have um, AC in your bedrooms, there's living room furniture, uh, you have a bedside table, uh, washer, dryer, appliances, crockery, uh, cutlery utensils, everything that you could possibly need. So I would suggest that students travel with linen. Obviously, your reading materials, items that you would need to be successful for classes and anything that would make you comfortable in your space. The, the linen, does, does that include towels as well or bed linens? Bed linen, towels, yes. You can also outfit your bathroom to your needs. So shower curtain, bathroom mats, that kind of stuff as well. It's really nice to know that they don't have to travel with their the, the, their favorite chair or no. how am I going to do with the furniture? Am I going to have to go to the local furniture store and buy furniture? <laughs> right. What about not. cutlery? I'm going to have to go buy forks. I have to worry about medical school. They don't have to worry about any of this. It's already all included. All there. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else is included as part of the rent? There is the gym facilities. We have, uh, uh, there is within Coverly, there is property management services from our landlord. We also have trash pick, regular trash and recycling pickup. We also have parking that's available for students who choose to purchase a vehicle or lease a vehicle while there's there. There's personal property insurance, and we also offer mandatory deep cleaning at the end of every semester. And you mentioned students purchasing their own vehicles. I believe the majority of our students don't purchase a vehicle. So what kind of transportation do we offer from Coverly to the campus, if any? So majority of our students utilize the shuttle service, and that is um, created based on student class schedules and exam schedules. Um, in addition to classes and exams, the shuttle will also take you to the local market. If you're interested in going to a farmer's market That's on the great. weekend, uh, they'll take you to one of the larger department stores. Uh, we have Costulas and Price Mart, which is very similar to BJ's or Costco's, and students can, are able to utilize that service. Mm -hmm. And what is the, the cost of this shuttle transportation? That's included in your rent. Ah, oh, all right. Sounds very mm -hmm. convenient. So we take yes. them around to and from campus as well as ask, access to some of the markets. Um, and how do they know when the buses are coming or when to go to the market? Is there where you mentioned the schedule? Where, how do, where do they find that? So the schedule can be found on the Ross University app. Students will download the app when they come to, to Island and you'll have all of your information right there at your fingertips. Sounds like Coverly is fairly convenient for the students to live Definitely there. You also is. mentioned the fitness center that's included. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Coverly itself as the village. What else is around there? So on the RUSM side, within, within the villages, we have the Office of Student Housing and Maintenance. Um, in admin building two, that's where we are. We also have transportation in this building. We have um, the wellness and counseling center um, in this building as well. And that has its own private entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, next door to us, admin building one, we have campus life, uh, which is under the student affairs umbrella. There's a study space in there as well. And there's the IT help desk. In addition to all of those amenities, we also have 24 hour security, so 24 hour RUSM security, and the villages of Coverly also offer 24 hour security as well. In addition to the RUSM offering, the villages of Coverly has a town square, which I think is very beautiful. So there's lots of options for meals there. There's lots of local restaurants. There is the local supermarket there. As I mentioned, there's club fitness there as well. And a lot of students use that area to, to study. And is this walkable or how do the students who live at Coverly get around Coverly Village? Yes, so everything within Coverly is walkable, totally walkable. So you can walk from your home, let's say you're living in Guava, you can walk down to the town square, you'll pass the petrol station directly into the town square, you'll, you can have breakfast there, you can um, study in that space, there's also a study space near to security as well, so you have plenty of options and it's very safe. You said if it, if you live at Guava, that sounds so pleasant. <laughs> what are some of the other, you mentioned earlier, the, the tropical fruits. What are some of the other names of the villages? So we have cherry, there's pomegranate, we have gooseberry, ackee, and coconut. That sounds so good. <laughs> I want to live there. <laughs> uh, what about, we also frequently get asked about animals. Can the students bring animals? 
Of course, so students can travel with their animals. Again, they would need to let us know if you're, if you're choosing to live within our USM housing, please let us know that you're traveling with an animal on your housing application so that we can assign you to a home with students who are comfortable living with an animal. Um, the, if you're traveling with a cat or a dog, it must be under 40 pounds, and this is uh, a guideline from our landlord. And students also have the option of traveling with a fish or purchasing fish when they come on island, and fish must be in a small tank. So is there a way for the students to ship this uh, uh, their their own personal things ahead of time? So students have the option of shipping items to Island. You have the option of using, or we suggest that you use a broker and that would kind of smooth things out. They will be able to take care of everything on your end. We do acknowledge that all students will not know their exact address prior to coming to Island and the broker would be the one to help with that particular process. In addition to that, it is important to know that we would encourage students to use the broker for large items. And if it is that you could maybe um, settle into item in a week or two without a smaller item, your family can send that via DHL or FedEx and that will come directly to your door. What kind of small and large items have you seen being shipped down to the island? So some students pack what we call barrels or large boxes, and they may have some of their favorite snacks, maybe a favorite pillow or blanket. There are some students who have um, specific specific needs and want a, a particular chair with them, a favorite whoopee cushion that they want in a corner. Um, there was a student that mentioned that um, she absolutely loves a particular brand of peanut butter, and she realized that she was not seeing it on the island, so she just sent a, a huge shipment here for her. But um, I think other than that particular brand of peanut butter that the island has almost everything that you that you'll need so take a look and see what we have first before you make any decisions for shipping because right. you may very well find it here we, we have what you need not necessarily what you want well, right but yes. if you want something that's going to make you think of home and study harder then yes <laughs> you're welcome to ship it on a barrel yes correct all right all right uh, so leah how is life in Barbados? Oh my goodness, it's absolutely amazing. Majority of the days are beautiful and bright. And I um, I, I think it's a privilege to, to live and work here. Any last advice to our future Rossies? My advice would be to embrace this wonderful opportunity. Um, I would encourage you to immerse yourself in everything that RUSM has to offer. And when the time is right, enjoy what Barbados has to offer. Thank you so much for sharing all this information. We often get asked about housing here at the admission side. So we really appreciate having you on. Uh, we appreciate the work that you do there. Thank you for all this information. And we look forward to one day meeting you in person. Thank you so much. It has been an absolute pleasure. Um, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out either to your new student coordinator or directly to the housing office. We are here to answer any questions that you may have as you transition to Island. Thank you, Leah. We appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, too. Thank you. And for everyone else listening in, thank you so much. We will see you next time. Thank you for listening to Ross University Checking the Pulse, a pre-med podcast. This is Milena Garcia, your host. This podcast is made for you, so let me know what topics you want us to cover on future episodes. You can send me your comments, feedbacks, and requests to mgarcia at rossu.edu. Definitely follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and our YouTube channel at Ross Med School or on Facebook. If you're listening to this podcast on iTunes, I am working my way to five stars. So remember to send me your comments and let me know your ideas. If you're on Spotify, remember to click on the follow button to get our future episodes. All right. See you future Rossies and Pre-Med Explorers next week. Stop, 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 stop.